that's what this is all about. <laughs> Show them your stuff. Talk about what you found. All right. And do it sideways would be better. Sideways? Yeah. All right. We are scouting. And I found... Score. Found a necklace. And a chewed up watch. So chewed up. Okay, so we're coming back tomorrow. We're going to metal detect it. And find lots of treasure. Right? Oh, yeah. Rings <laughs> everywhere. I can feel it. You can feel it. Well, you were right about the buffalo nickel in the middle of nowhere, so I'm <laughs> counting on you. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be good. I can tell. Me too. All right. See we'll you tomorrow. On. All right. We were here yesterday. No snow. Today? Oh, yeah. All right. Off on an adventure. I can't wait. We're gonna find lots of treasure. I'm gonna have so much fun. You ready for this? So ready. I'm born ready. All right, just like we promised, we're back. Only, it snowed overnight. Yes, it did. So. The good news is, probably no one's going to be here today, so we got that going for us. This is a grizzly bear area, so we will be on the watch for that. How close to Glacier National Park are we? Ah. 45 minutes? Yeah, maybe. Can half hour. So, yeah, those grizzlies, they don't know their boundaries very well, but this area is also where they drop off a lot of problem bears, so... We got a little gunner watching our back. All right, let's get some treasure. Oh, like you probably saw in the last clip, Sheila got two surface finds here yesterday, a necklace and a watch. So, watch. gonna be something good. First high tone. Man, have I got some sinkers. Let's try it. They smell something in the woods. God, look at this scoop. This thing is in rocks, everything. So I like them. What? Fingers crossed. Ooh, I have a hole. Okay. Oh. Oh, I got something actually. It is a muddy, holy muddy dime. Nope, get. Don't ask me. What is that? Oh, it's a 2002. Oh my God. <laughs> I, my heart was racing. I thought for sure that was silver, how clean it came out of the ground. Two. Yeah. Oh well. At least I found something other than a sinker. Alright, I got my first good target. So far I've just dug a uh, lead and uh, a little bit of brass. Some brass shells and some lead weights. But we're just getting started. Let's see what we can get. Look at that, it got me a dime. You know, there's gotta be a coin spill here because I did not hear a dime sound. Is 
Yeah. Yep, there we go. Nickel. Lost my dime, huh? <laughs> well, that just disappears in the snow on you. So that's pretty cool. There we go. So a dime, nickel, and a quarter out of that hole. Well, I might have my first ring. Let's see what we got here. So this was coming up a five. So, oh. It almost looks silver, but there's no way in this world a five is gonna be a silver. I think. Unless maybe it was on edge or something weird. Let's see. Yeah. It's coming up a six, so I think that's going to be steel of some kind. Alright, but it's a ring. Alright, we got a deep height down here. I already took one scoop out. Well, let's do a light dig. Yeah, it sounds better after every scoop. Hopefully. This is deep silver or something. So it went from a 30 to like a 23. Not a great sign. But... <laughs> Gonna. <laughs> Just a regular penny. Right here, it was ringing up like a penny, but it looks like a nickel. I think it's gonna be a token of some kind. Oh yeah, it says Aladdin's Castle. Yeah, it's the video game place I had when I was a kid. Darn it, that sounded so good. Oh well. Okay, I just got a nice silver sound. <laughs> Look at that. Boom. Silver ring. Well, I'm assuming it's silver. I haven't looked for the mark yet, but that looks like silver to me. What does it say on it? Purity. That's me. That's just totally everything I am. Purity. That was meant for me. Crazy. And da -da -da, it says. 925 something something well see what else we can get well i got me a big old key somebody is hating it that's a long ways from a cell phone area up here all right so i heard a 13 and i definitely have some sort of jewelry here oh it's a fancy schmancy belly button ring. Just one time. Could one of these be silver? You know what I mean? I don't think I've ever got one of these. It was anything that was precious. And you know, it kind of looks good, but I don't see a mark anywhere, so. Well, that's actually kind of nice for a belly button ring. Usually a little, a little bit lamer than that. All right, cool. Let's see what else we can get. Eat him up, boy. He's been running left and right and everywhere. Uh -uh. Eat him up. 
Wow, for the first time, I was just I was just talking crap about this. There's a little 925 right there. First silver belly button ring. They're always trash for me. Where is it? Right there. So small. Oh, geez. Yeah, I can see it though. Get down. So that was coming up like a 12, 13. So. Because of this part? Yeah, and all the reflection points, and it's real thin. But boom, second piece of silver today. All right, I might have something awesome here. Come, come. Oh, dude. Not. Is that real? No way, man. That thing sounded so junky. Is oh, yeah. it because of the edges? Where's... Hey, Gunner, come. Is it because of the edges? Well, when you, if it's on edge and it's catching all these like prongs and stuff on the diamond, I think this is going to be fake. Can we go wash it? Dang it. Yeah, let's wash it. I'll get right back. Anyways, it's junk. Heartbreaker. <laughs> but they're green today, so I can't complain too much. But yeah, I'd wear, I'd wear it. So, so I was just going to show my wife like the sounds I dig and this one was coming up a little junky and it's because different prongs and the different shapes on top she's like i would have never dug that but yeah boom I could Dude, it sounded terrible i could have been a gold ring but it was repeatable and sometimes i even had to like work my coil to find the spot where it was repeatable but there it is boom let's see what else we can get i got a car i got a car a car uh-huh nice. yeah i mean it's a mud car, <laughs> but I got a car. At least I got something. It's a car. Okay, we are at a different lake. It's not a very big one. We are near Glacier National Park. Still, probably about an hour away. My husband's gonna do some metal detecting. While I, <laughs> my arm hurts just too bad. I'm gonna do some uh, surface finds. I mean, it went pretty well yesterday and see what I can find today. I do believe I found this so far. It's just a rock, but it has a really, it's so cool an animal on it. I kind of feel like I should leave it here. But it's cool though, isn't it? I'll turn you back on when I get more. Hey, Chi Lydic. <laughs> Found your tag. No clue what that is. Alright, so that turned out to be a pretty decent little hunt. So I'll start out there's the garbage pile. But I'm going to do the wrap-up a little bit different this time. So this is the brass pile. And I've taken the fish and wire stuff that's brass and put it in with the, you know, the shells. And, you know, even on some of the fish and wire bodies, they're brass. And this is my lead pile. Look how much lead we dug. It's crazy. And some of that's bullets, some of it's sinkers. And, like, that's a really nice sinker. This is like a huge piece of lead for some reason. It was kind of folded over almost like a bracket when we found it. There's my pull tabs. Anyways, the reason why I'm doing it like this is because I've decided to recycle these things. You know, normally I just sort through my junk and I pull all the clad out and I throw everything away. But I've started a little recycling buckets. See, there's brass. I really like the idea of someone paying me for all my uh, pull tabs. And I started a lead bucket. And I know it's not a ton of extra money, but if you're sorting it out anyways, so why not make money out of it? So anyways, here's our clad for the day. So it wasn't like super amazing, but we pulled some clad. My wife's saying she thinks this is a cow tag. And of course there's her awesome car. I think it's rough shape. Oh, look, a wheel just fell off. 
<laughs> Can't even make it through the wrap up without a wheel falling off. So I got the one token from Aladdin's Castle. And then this, the heart stopper for a second. I realize it's just trash. This one I figured was trash. I looked close, I couldn't find any marks. So I think it's a junker. But there's your two stars of the day. We got a nice silver ring and a silver belly button ring. It's crazy. Never got one of those in silver before. Sheila lost her rock. I don't know where that fancy rock went. It's in the Suburban. And I don't know. We probably should have had her necklace and watch here from when we were scouting. But anyways, yeah, not a bad little hunt. Especially if we're up in the middle of the mountains in the middle of nowhere. All right. Thanks for watching.